finally, finally, finally! So of course, we're back with another Deku Mile video. And this one might be really madly, madly short, but we did get some new info right here for JP. We got our spring campaign basically for 2021 this year. Um, I think I, I have my video title like already ready to go and stuff like that. Um, for um, like my um, um, green bar down there for um, hybrid. That's the program I use to convert my video to 60 frames. I try to upload. I will try to upload this as soon as I can though. Um, this will be lasting from now until um. They just said, I'm saying the 17th of June. Dang, yeah. So, yeah, from now until like the 17th of June. So, I guess I will have, like, you know, a part two and stuff like that. We'll see, like, part two LR or whatever to this whole celebration. Give me Evil Control Piccolo. No? Okay. I'm okay, just throwing a, a concept out there. So, yeah, we got the new spray campaign. We got the, all the info for JP and stuff like that. For Global, we should in a couple more hours at times recording. We'll probably get the J, um, info for. um. Go tanks and stuff like that. Like, you know, go tanks. They do go to Super Saiyan, go to and Trunk for the unit you know, super attack. With Grillin, we'll see all those, like, all that stuff sooner or later in the game. I might do, uh, I might do a mobile one. I might do a mobile one. I don't know. Um, like, there's so much stuff to upload and stuff like that lately. So, some stuff might get out early, some stuff might get out, like, like late. Um, again, I'll try to, I'll try to upload these videos as soon as I can, though. Again, there's just so much stuff to go over and cover, though. So, that's how it's been the last couple of days for me. Um, uploading, just, again, major crazy stuff. Though. There's just so much going on for, um, Legends ha ha having their anniversary at the time of recording. Um, and just, like, again, like that, that, um, definitely doing some stuff back and forth. Um, yeah, pretty much Doken and Legends right now, though. So, of course, you know, when Doken Legends does something, Doken's like, hey, we got Strike back again. But again, this always happens where Doken is, though. So, yeah, we got Spring Campaign or, you know, Rain Campaign, however you want to pronounce it. I think it's Spring because of the Rain is supply right here and, you know, we use assets. But, yeah, let's get started. Of course, we got a couple new things here. That's pretty much it. Kind of a couple new things. A lot of bonus special missions, typical stuff I already know. Garlic Jr. No. Gohan Doku Fest. This is gonna be Gohan Doku Fest right here. I'm also down here. Um, I know, yeah, this is Gohan Doku Fest. Garlic Jr. will be the side unit for the banner, which makes sense and stuff like that. EB Jump, they did confirm he was not a Doku Fest unit. Gorashima said that himself. Um, like in the uh, B Jump, they also mentioned the trunks. Uh, the new one, the new SBRs from Battle Road on, um, for um, JP. Um, he was just featured trunks, I believe, in the B Jump. And of course, like, okay, they thought, they thought it was gonna be a Boma and trunks, but now Boma just in the corridor and Super Tech animation. Um, that's how some units have been doing, like, they have the character in the background, like, in the corner, or just, like, a, just, like, for assist and stuff like that. Um, the new banner, Heavenly, um, and then basically anybody who has, like, again, who's been training as a lookout, Go Tanks, Trunks, Vegeta, Hyperbolic, Hyperbolic Time Chamber, all that stuff, so yeah, it does count as well, though. Uh, Elder Kai Banner, so yeah, the 17th, we'll see the, um, the next, probably LR or whatever that comes with this. It could be, like, a Piccolo and Gohan, honestly, probably from this arc. Or like Final Flash Vegeta, just out of nowhere, just out of the blue, bring out Final Flash Vegeta. They kind of feel like it does make sense. But we'll get like cooler hints to like the part two LR or whatever that comes out though. So we're gonna definitely see that sooner or later for Doken. Um, again, this can be really mean, mean nothing. Again, 17th could be mean also something. And again, they wait until like half of the month to do this. While Global is heading off to the anniversary, JV is gonna head off to Tanabata. Pretty much, probably they're gonna you know, announce something at the end of the month, in like the middle of the month. They're gonna announce the full celebration because that's how Tanabata was last year. We got like we renewed Kyle Kimbu go through evolution. Vegeta LR. We knew about that last year. We got the info from um just out of the blue nowhere from um which we call it from um Gotcha's website. Oh uh, was it it was um no it was Team Doku was what gotcha website. Oh uh, we got the info from that. I actually think I have a similar link around here. Do I have up here? I don't think I do. Whatever. Um Dragon Soul Cell again we had that all like last year and stuff like that. I definitely remember that. Um I think I was my mouth being weird. Uh what else is down here? We have Bones Joker Festival. Uh, Garlic Jr. Story event where we can farm and get the Piccolo. They probably will end up being a part two because Piccolo does not have his awakening and people already data mined his art kind of in the game and stuff like that. I don't know if it's 100% true, but it could be in there. We don't know though. So yeah, um, again, people were data mining it already. People were already kind of getting confirmation for it. But this is a new story event though, of course. It's going on, it might be just an asset for the story event. It actually looks really new though. Um, but no, um, I actually need to look on Super Attack too. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah. Um, that is new. It looks like a new Gohan art, which is um, probably like an asset from the story event because there's a whole bunch of new, uh, just not new assets, but old assets that um, according to the day I download just getting added to the story event because they just reuse a lot of the same assets and just stuff from Doken, old Doken events and stuff like that. They do that 24 7 though. This is kind of really nothing new though. Um, but yeah, um, of course, like I said, Gohan Jr., he's going to be just, again, that's just kind of like the Carter and stuff like that from like the event. So yeah, all the um, Nimic story events coming back makes sense because Gohan and stuff like that. 
um, see all the Nimbus sword events coming back. Because it was between and Nimbus. Like, this was like after Nimbus, because Gohan doesn't have his bolt cut anymore. This is just a reference from the Dead Zone. Because, uh, again, this whole celebration is like a reference to the Dead Zone. We get like Elder Garlic Jr. out of nowhere. Like, it's just from Elder Garlic Jr. Is, or Garlic Jr. and his minions for part two. Could be that. Um, but that but definitely does make sense. Um, but yeah. I mean, this is like in between, like this is like you know, gimmick stuff. And after that, it's like middle. It's like kind of like a middle art, like right here, like kind of like middle stuff. Like you know, Gohan comes in, um, Garlic Junior, like he just one shots everybody though. Know, so you know, Unit Super Attack with Krillin and Piccolo. So yeah, um, of course, Easy is coming back for Kid Gohan, so you can Easy him and Piccolo as well. And you can all the network stuff is coming back. That was in the kind of do this stuff. Uh, Battle is getting refreshed, so of course you know, not even enemies, but um. It's coming back again, like, you know, the typing's gonna be all different. It's, gonna, it's like a, you know, typing's gonna be like a randomizer. Um, typical, typical stuff. Uh, so Battle Road's gonna be open a lot, yeah, until 17th because of the new trucks and stuff like that. New stages to the old Super Battle Road. Again, it's not extreme Super Battle Road or blah, 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 blah. They're just adding new stages to the Super Battle Road, uh, to the old Super Battle Road. Which has been a really long time, though, so. Yeah, I remember when Gohan got his stages announced. He was like, oh yeah, we can't wait for that for Global. And they added it, and it's like, oh yeah, we got more Super Battle Road stages for JP! <laughs> So yeah, um, new supposed uh, chain battle. I don't know who's it, who's against it, but I will find it. We'll probably find out in the next couple of days for JP and stuff like that. Um, oh, versus Piccolo, I can tell right here. So yeah, team battle versus Piccolo. Ooh, uh, it's probably like of course the new heavenly um event category. Probably maybe um maybe because I gotta use categories that I haven't used for already because I don't really really reuse categories for chain battles. Like it could be of course heavenly event, probably revenge maybe. Um, because they're all like junior stuff like that. Maybe hybrid Saiyan or. Something else, maybe? I don't know how we can do that. Um, physical cool, it's easy it was announced. We all knew this was coming anyway next because Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta were the last ones. Of course, Goku was STR, you know, Vegeta was IGL. Of course, you know, they go kind of next type in correspondence. So the next and final, um, 120 easy A will be Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So his will be not probably next celebration, but the one after next. So again, it'll be someone probably like in because all that was going you know, this stuff is going to come in 2022. We're like, oh my gosh, the future, the easy A is going to be in the future. <laughs> yeah, we expect it. Yeah, we all expect it like a Another year later, not in 2020, but 2021 was good, like the best year for Doken, and so far, they've done good. Um, of course, like I said, um, of course, another um, his summons and stuff like that. Still, Professor Event coming back, so you go ahead and do his stuff. And of course, we got um, his other sorry, event coming back, so you can do all cool stuff. So, so, so physical cool again, they don't really need to change that much for him. Again, he's already good, he's probably one of the best aging users in the game. Probably, personally, my favorite over Evolution Bull Vegeta. And all a lot of people go like, Why you say that? <laughs> Um, because I cooler, I grew up with cooler though, so uh, he's he is a good meaning in my heart. I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, everybody did, but I liked cooler actually, like just in general when he first came out and stuff like that. It's, it's really good though. Again, they don't need to change that. It's like full power free. They didn't, all, all they did was give him defense in the first plot. When you're in the first slot, you give him like key and stuff like that in defense. That's all they did. Cooler's not gonna be that different. They're just gonna keep it passive the same. First power the same. Maybe 120. Then they're probably gonna add like um something else. So. Again, they're probably just gonna add something else there too. I might actually make the pull up cooler myself. Dang it, I forgot. Um, but yeah, again, they're probably just gonna change. They're not, they're not gonna change the first part of the passive. There's gonna add probably maybe some more defense or attack or whatever in that thing. Because again, they don't even make him uh, disgusting, broken, or whatever. They really don't. He's actually really good himself. So yeah, overall, celebration actually pretty solid. Of course, you got a new chain battle. Um, uh, Cooler's um, event to move to the battle stage. It's some pretty solid stuff in here, though. Um, we all know that Cooler's gonna be next anyway, though, so yeah. Um, of course, Garlic Jr. at Gohan. Really solid celebration. They got some pretty good stuff in here. It may not be a lot, but it might be just placeholder in part two. They're gonna add, like, you know, the next thing and stuff like that, though, so yeah. Um, so far, it seems pretty okay, though. So, like I said, pretty, really solid, though. Now, time to go with the units and kind of, like, break them down, my opinions and stuff like that. I already went over my other video, though, so I'll look at some more around me. Um, Gohan actually seems really good, though. Again, Heavenly Event and Bond and Master and Disciple, really good. Again, he's, like, um, the int, um, not int, but he's, like, literally his tech ultimate Gohan counterpart in a nutshell. He's insane. He's disgusting. I know what they're thinking with this guy. They made him insane. They were just... Whew. They made this man, probably, like, one of the best units in the game. He, I haven't seen any showcases for him yet, but... He seems like he's gonna be a really solid unit though as time goes on. He's gonna age pretty well like ultimate go on as almost a whole year later he still is good. Um going right here will probably age well as best as he can. But he's gonna have a lot of defense, a lot of attack. He's just gonna be really good overall though, in my opinion. Um, of course. Garlic Jr. as well. He's actually a really good unit as well. Really good solid support unit. Again, you can run that Kim. Well, Jack, he mainly is supposed to be a for villain support team, because you can tell from the past. Him. But actually seems like probably one of the best side units in the game as I see him and talk about him more and more and more. He actually seems like a really good villain unit though. I mainly the support, kind of like other villains, but he basically is Gohan and of course another villain support in the nutshell. So yeah, he could be he could be Gohan a little bit better just because of the attack stack and stuff like that. He's gonna hit 
a little bit harder because they attack stacking. But for attack defense and stuff like that going up, his key going up. Um, again, he's basically Gohan a little bit on crack. And again, he's like literally just kind of Gohan just for extreme types. So it made him good. He was actually really good. Uh, of course, we have his SSR right here, which you actually can keep. It might be the plus two key. might not do as much as his TUR big daddy right here counterpart. Um, his father's counterpart. And by the way, he should be on full power because that's not, there's just no way that's not full power. He really should be on full power. He's on revenge. I was like, he had to be on revenge, but um, yeah. Um, but yeah, though, um, if you want to keep his SSR, go ahead and do it, you know, even if, you know, like, get him, like, magically get him all rainbow, you know, coins and stuff like that for JP, and Global, because now we have the coin update, <laughs> yay, so, yeah, no Global Shaft, woohoo, so, yeah, um, of course, like I said, you can't keep his SSR, he actually is really good, though, if you want to keep his SSR, I recommend doing that, because he's just be probably not as good, not hitting hard as this guy, but he's just gonna be as good as support team as ever, um, of course, Trunks and, um, uh, not just no, it's just future trunks. Um, a, ma a major, major support unit for Vegeta family. Seems like he's gonna be really good as time goes on. Again, depending what slot you get him in, he's gonna actually be doing a lot. I probably say second or f maybe second or first probably. Um, because no, no. Um, because no matter what you do though, I feel like maybe first slot would be better because he'll um get Vegeta. He'll basically be supporting Vegeta family if you want that, or you just want to help out get your own key up as a second um. And you want to get your own key and attack up by yourself and just being self defended or you know um oh dang and three key the third oh so this oh it's okay so second and third are pretty much both the same thing uh first if you want to really go there help out vegeta family if you want to third um second or third if you really want to go higher for the turns and you know getting your attack and keys stuff like that so and again it doesn't matter either or oh yeah shocking speed that's actually really good so a couple of those vegetas that like shocking speed cold judgment um rolling you that really Cold Judgment, but like World in you. Yeah, look at Trunks LR. Hey, Trunks got second LR before, um, no, actually third LR, I believe. Fourth, because Trunks and my. Yeah, before, <laughs> um, boss well, that guy. I'm just kidding about stuff. Yeah, really good support for Vegeta family, though. Really, really good. So, of course, right here, of course, we have the boy Piccolo. Um, he is from the free play, new free play, um, event right here. So, he does heavenly, um, events key to everything up 30%. Um, let me see, raise attack for one turn, supreme damage, attack defense plus 70%, plus additional another attack defense plus 70%. If there's a Gohan kid on the team, heavily events category key to attack defense plus 20%. Um, his links are Demonic Ways, Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experience Fighters, Gaze of Respect, Shocking Speed, Sky Girls, Battle Blitz, and Heavily Events. So, um, Again, really solid. Again, he's been in the support this type of unit. Uh, yeah, you know, he's gonna wait until LR. I'm just kidding. For, for part two, he'll probably do like plus three key. Maybe he'll get like easy in the future because that, um, you know, that uh, passive and stuff like that right here. Usually a 30 or 50, or usually if it's 30 or 50, it'll get an easy A, not like the Golden Freeza from last year. Um, but Golden Freeza is a little from last year. But hey, Piccolo's still gonna be good. Again, we already know he's gonna get Duke and Weekend and stuff like that. We already know he's gonna be in stuff like that, of course. Like he's gonna get a part two and stuff like that. We already know about that. I feel like Hyde could be an LR go junior, but we just got this guy and they want to do two back to back but whatever though so yeah gonna go ahead and end the video here i want to make this i wanted to make this really really short but i didn't realize i was writing on going on with multiple opinions and stuff like that but really good though for all his characters again piccolo we all know obviously obviously he's gonna dope make him trunks being a massive 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 um vegeta family unit garlic jr probably being one of the best side units in the game it's actually really good himself even his ssr is actually really good and gohan probably being one of my favorite units in the game right here so yeah i'm um, gonna go ahead and end the video here see you guys later though thanks for watching have a great day, great life. I'll quit again though. Make sure I stay safe, wash your hands, God bless all of you ever going out, playing where I'm at, and talk people really need to, I'm just kidding though. So what do you guys think about all this info though? Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? I think it's awesome, I think it's great, I think it's cool and stuff like that of course. But yeah, really good units, really good events, really good stuff coming up, so yeah, for Jamie, so yeah. See you guys later though again though. Peace out.